Argent X and Starkware, the Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solution. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this wallet as well as get started in the Starkware ecosystem. Hi everyone, my name is Leon. I'm a content creator over here at Collective Ship, where we try and unlock your wealth and financial freedom by providing you with the most up-to-date crypto content and education. In this video, we're going to be looking at a few things. Number one, how to get the Argent X wallets. This is a DeFi wallet that you will need to participate in the uh, Starknet and Starkware ecosystems. Number two, I'm going to show you how you can bridge funds onto the wallet because these funds are on a layer two scaling solution. They are not on Ethereum mainnet. You will have to get some funds on there. Number three, I'm going to show you how to use the Block Explorer. We'll look at some of the top tokens and what some of the transactions look like. And then after that, we're going to find some dApps for you to use on the Starkware ecosystem. And then guess what? You'll be using the Argent X wallets. So that's the whole thing. That's the whole video. That's what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, before we get started, if you do like the content, make sure you check the link in the description for the discount code to the Collective Shift platform. We try and give you the best information we can. So let's get started, shall we? Hello, my friends. We come back. First off, we have to try and get the Argent X wallet, which is the number one thing in this tutorial. So first off, we're going to go to the Twitter and the Twitter, we're going to go to Twitter and find Argent as well as going to their homepage and finding more about them. So this is their Twitter at Argent HQ. They've got 240,000 followers. Make sure you go to the official website, um, which is uh, argent.xyz. Now, one thing I want to get uh, people clear on, there is the Argent wallet and then there's also the Argent X wallet. They have different things they're going for. Argent X, which this tutorial is for, is specifically for Starkware, which is a layer two scaling solution. On Stark, on uh, Argent, you can use that on Ethereum mainnet or ZK Sync even. So let's go over to Argent X, where it's the first wallet for Starknet. Remember, we are looking at Starknet in this tutorial. Go ahead and go download for Google Chrome or download it for Firefox over here. So let's go ahead and go that. It is a Chrome extension, just like any other, um, most of the other wallets nowadays. Go ahead and make sure it is the correct one with over 100,000 users. Go ahead and add it to Brave. Wait for it to add the extension and then off we go. As soon as you are finished, you will be presented with a uh, wallet interface here. First off, you have to create your own wallet or you will have to restore an existing wallet. So far, let's go with creating a new wallet, okay? This is going to be a fake wallet, so don't worry about trying to get the seed phrase. I, I understand that Starknet may introduce changes that may um, make my existing account unusable and force me to create a new one. Um, I also understand that uh, it may experience performance issues because this is all still experimental at the moment. It's not very um, uh, so solidified. So let's make a small password for this wallet. Let's go. Um, let's go a very simple password. Creating the wallet here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and pin this to the top so that I can automatically see it all the time. Let's go ahead and pin it. Pinned. Amazing. Now, since this is a new account we've just created, you can go ahead and set up a recovery, an account recovery to secure your assets. Uh, you can do it as save the recovery phrase. This is going to generate you a recovery phrase. Um, but let's not do that at the moment. It is super important for you to do, but I'm just setting this up as an experiment for you, right? So what? let's actually explore this wallet a little bit. We are currently on testnet. Let's go ahead and go to mainnet network issues. Starknet is an alpha and is experiencing degraded network performance. Your transactions may fail. This is now on mainnet, okay? There are no accounts on mainnet. However, you can go over to testnet, which has a green light that says it's working. Let's go ahead and go to the testnet again, and let's try and go to a new account. This is an account you can go and see your own blockchain address here. You can try and add funds. You can see the tokens on the bottom left, NFTs on the bottom middle, and then the activity on the bottom right. Let's go ahead and go to mainnet because I want to look at adding a new account on mainnet. This is accounts number one. Let's rename it as um, a ME test account on mainnet. It's deploying it to the mainnet at the moment, so it might take a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and explore the wallet a little bit more, shall we? On the bottom, on the top left here, you can see that you can set your recovery account, which is to get your secret phrase. You really, really need this at the moment. It's very important you do this. And then you can see you can lock your wallet, extended view for the wallets. Let's go ahead and open up the entire wallet in your browser so you can see. Now, 
These are the tokens over here. These are the NFTs. You can go to an NFT browser. We won't go there yet, but we will very, very soon. On the bottom right, let's look at the activity. You can see the wallet is being deployed. It is still a pending transaction. It takes some time until you can see it. Now let's go over and actually try and look at this account on the stock scan. Now, this is the second thing I wanted to show you guys. It doesn't exist yet, but I'm going to bridge some funds and then show you how to look at the blockchain explorer at the moment. So let's go ahead and go back to the wallet. Let's go and try and add some funds. Where can you add some funds onto this layer two solution, onto this layer two blockchain wallet? So you can buy uh, Ethereum with a credit card or bank transfer. What service does this allow? This, is, this uses both ramp and banks. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see here. This uses ramp which is the recommended bank or card transfer you can also use banksa i won't be using any of these solutions at the moment so i'm going to be using some of the other ones here you can transfer from another starkware account onto this account we don't want to do that either at the moment the biggest two biggest things you might be able to do to bridge your funds over to your wallet here is to do it from an exchange or to bridge from an, another ethereum or another blockchain in general Let's go over and click on from an exchange. What does that look like? So over here, it uses layer swap in the background. So you can see here, you can select. Let's zoom in so you can see. Exchange to the network, or you can go from a network to the exchange. Right now, we don't have any funds. We want to go from the exchange to the network. You click on exchange. What exchange are you currently using? Do you use FTX? Do you use Coinbase? Do you use Huobi? Do you use Bittrex? Do you use uh, uh, FTX.us or even KuCoin? Let's say most people use Binance. Click on Binance and then you know that it's going to Starknet, which is the address that you are currently on at the moment. And this is, of course, my Starknet address. How much do you want to bridge onto this Starknet address from your blockchain, from your um, um, exchange at the moment? Let's say you want to transfer one ETH, one ETH, and you will receive 0 0.995316, which means it takes a fee about 0 0.05 ethereum which is give or take around 20 bucks if i'm correct on this now the maximum amount you can actually bridge at the moment is 0 0.015 because they're trying to tell you this is still experimental okay layer swap um uh, save up to 10x on fees when moving crypto from coinbase finance or ftx to arbitrum zk sync loopring and other layer twos this is super super awesome so that's one way to get um to get your funds from an exchange onto Argent X, but you can also use a bridge from Ethereum and other chains. You can use the Stark Gate, which is the official uh, bridge. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. It functions just like any other wallet bridge. You're going to have to connect two of your wallets, your Ethereum mainnet wallet and then your Starknet wallet. Let's go ahead and connect the Starknet wallet because you can use the, um, yeah, that's that one I want to connect. Go ahead and connect to that one. And then you have to connect to your MetaMask as well, because remember, one is Ethereum mainnet, one is StarkNet. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to bridge some funds over. You can see I have a small amount of funds in my Ethereum mainnet. Go ahead and bridge 0.05. Let's see what happens. It doesn't give you, unfortunately, a preview of what's going to happen. Let's go ahead and transfer. And then it asks you to immediately confirm the transaction without knowing much else that's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and reject this at the moment because I don't want to transfer this. I don't know how much I will actually get. It might be the full amount. We don't know yet. I haven't tried this. You should go and try this. And then after that, you can also use Orbiter.Finance, which is over here. And go ahead and connect your wallet as well. And we go over to Orbiter and you connected both your MetaMask as well as your StarkNet wallet. Let's go ahead and see. You can see I have the same amount of Ethereum. I want to transfer 0.05 Ethereum. And then let's see what will happen. So I will actually be getting uh, the fee for this is 0.0012. The identification code is here. Um, you can see I will receive 0.05. I will receive the same amount of ethereum that i want to send and you just click confirm and send it now it will be done in one to two hours because it's still starknet is still in alpha go ahead and reject that let's close orbiter finance we don't want to transfer at the moment but i just wanted to show you these are the different ways you can bridge funds onto the argent x wallet after this let's look at how you can explore the block explorer for stock scan in your wallet itself go to here and you can see it has now been deployed it is now a fully fledged blockchain wallet go ahead and look at it on stock scan over here 
So this is now my test wallet. I'm going to zoom in so you can see as well. This is the Stark Scan Explorer. You can you can use this blockchain explorer to find lots of different information on the chain. In the developer section, you can see verifying contracts, the address books, known addresses in StarkNet. Let's have a look at that very quickly. You can see here, this is the Argent wallet. This is the Bravos wallet itself. And then these are the different wallet contract addresses for Ethereum, DAI, USDC, Tether, and Wrap BTC. Now keep in mind, this is a permissioned blockchain so far. They only allow a certain amount of tokens or coins onto this blockchain. That means you need to be whitelisted. That means there's not many other tokens you can experiment with on here. Let's go ahead and see what the top actual tokens in of the top 20 ERC tokens on StarkNet are. Ether, Ethereum, there is 2.19 million Ethereum on StarkNet, on Starkware, sorry. And this is held by 74,000 wallets. So 37,000 small wallets all across the ecosystem. In USDC coin, there's only 232,000 USDC and there's 11,000 holders of it. In DAI, there's 182,000 holders, uh, $182,000 of DAI and there's 7,000 holders. Tether, there's 33,000 in Tether and 1.3k holders. And Wrap BTC, there's only $5,000 of Wrap BTC and it's held by 261 wallets. So the amount of Wrap BTC on Starkware is super, super small at the moment. Very, very small. Let's go ahead and look at some other stuff on this blockchain explorer. Let's look at some top accounts. You can see there's one account here that has 81 ETH, which is a significant amount. And then it starts going down 38 ETH, 36 ETH, 21, 11, 10, 10. Let's go ahead and look at the top account, see what we can see, what we can glean from this account. This is the contract address here. Uh, you can see it was deployed in June 21, 2022. Let's see what transactions, if any, has been happening pretty recently. It might be a bridge uh, uh, wallet. We'll have a look. Now, yes, it seems like they are having some really fun, uh, really recent transactions. 51 minutes, 40 minutes, 40 minutes, 28 and even three minutes. So this is pending still. Now, keep in mind that the block actually goes very slowly. It does take a long time. These are all the recent blocks in Starkware. You can see block 47248, 429, uh, 250 and 251. You can see here 52 minutes apart, 41 minutes apart, 28 minutes, 14 and 4. So this is nearly 12 minutes apart for one block. Are you satisfied with this? I am not. I will probably not use this blockchain very often because it's extremely slow at the moment. Now keep in mind it is in alpha. It hasn't fully fledged and fully come out yet. Let's go to our next item that we're going to look at, which is NFTs. What dApps can you actually do or what dApps can you experiment with on Starkware? You can see you can browse NFTs on Aspect. Let's go ahead and visit Aspect and see what it looks like. Let's connect our wallet on the top right hand side corner. And this is the me test account. Connect it. Awesome. We are now on. We are now connected. Amazing. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, there is a small message for people here. Starknet mainnet will be reset in quarter four and NFTs may not migrate. So I would advise not to buy anything at the moment, even though people are buying and selling. Some of the top profile NFTs are early Starkware NFTs, Starknet um, something and Origin by something and Aspect and even Mint Square. Let's have a look at Aspect because it is the NFT marketplace itself is an NFT marketplace built on Starknet, the most scalable and secure layer two blockchain on Ethereum. Numbers of them, 15,000. Number of owners, 9,000. And floor price is less than 0.01. .01. Total volume is 3.39 ETH, so extremely small at the moment. And of course, these are all ripoffs of Board 8 Yacht Clubs. I don't think these are the original Board 8 Yacht Club NFTs. That is awesome. So let's have a look at some of the uh, other things you can buy. Starknet Monsters, Early Starkers, and Origin by Starksheet. Let's have a look at the StarkNet monsters. I haven't researched any of these, by the way. Number of items, 777. Number of owners, 601. Floor price is 0 0.3. Now, they are some small pixelated. Uh, it reminds me of uh, moon cats. Not moon cats. Yeah, moon cats on Ethereum. That's what it reminds me of. Or moon birds. Moon birds on Ethereum. I'm sure there's moon cats somewhere anyway. Let's go ahead and try and create our own NFT. You can mint an NFT yourself or apply for a launch pad. Let's try and mint an NFT. All you have to do is upload an image into here. 
name and description and you should be able to create it something very very easily i haven't tried this myself but go ahead and experiment remember you will need to bridge some funds over to have some ethereum as gas fees but please go ahead and try and experiment and upload your own nft and just have a go because that's what this web3 experience is about have a go all right, my friends, and that leaves us to the end of the Starkware and Argent X uh, wallet uh, tutorial. I hope you find it informative. Let's go through some of the things we did look at. Number one, I showed you how to get the Argent X wallet. This is super important. You need this, either this wallet or the Bravos wallet to participate in Starkware. Number two, I showed you the different ways you can bridge funds to the wallet. You can use an exchange. You can use another bridging operator, such as uh, uh, Transfer2 or Transfer XYZ, all of that sort of stuff. And then after that, I showed you how you can use the blockchain explorer to look at all the different tokens on starkware there, there isn't much at the moment we all saw it together and then after that i showed you what dApps you can use at the moment there are a few dApps you can use you can look at the nfts on there but there's not much ecosystem but this is where the trick is you have to get in before everyone else does once you get in and you're in this community you know what's happening before everyone else does so let's keep going. I've got an action for you, my friends. I want you to go ahead and bridge funds onto Starkware using the Argent X wallet. I want you to experiment with all the dApps that you see. Remember, this is on mainnet now, so you gotta be careful with what dApps you do interact with. But that's my action for you. Go ahead and bridge some funds, get onto it. If you don't get onto it, you won't start using it. And of course, start experimenting with it. I've got two questions for you, my friends. My first question is, did you find this tutorial helpful at all? If you didn't find it helpful at all, please let me know because I'm super interested in making these videos better for you and better for Collective Shift. So leave me a comment if you like this content. If you didn't find it helpful, as well as leave me a comment down below, but at least tell me why right down there. And then my second question for you is, what dApp have you actually used so far on uh, Starkware? Have you used any dApps? Have you bought any NFTs? What are your plans on Starkware at the moment? So let me know down in the comments. I'm so interested in finding out because I want to experiment as well. Now, this has been brought to you by Collective Ship. Make sure you like and subscribe the content. Make sure you go to the description and find the link for the discount code to the Collective Shift platform, as well as checking out some of these other videos here because we are super excited about bringing you crypto content. That's it for now. We will see you very soon.